Welcome back to the Youth News Official, where it's for the youth, by the youth, and about the youth. I'm Priscilla. I'm Jane. And I'm Jay. Today, we will be discussing about whether TikTok app passed the vibe check or not. So, grab your tea as it's about to get real. So, TikTok was first introduced in 2017 after it was bought by Douyin's parent company, ByteDance. So, the app was previously known as Musical.ly. Their big users like Lauren Gray, Jake Sartorius, Kenzie has grown their huge fan bases till today. But then the app was renamed TikTok. It's so popular that people from all around the world started to creating, sharing, and discovering new short videos. Okay, so I, I actually have a question for all of you guys. So have you ever like, you know, accidentally spent too much time on TikTok? Maybe like two or three hours? Yes, I've been. Yes, and you know, there's been a debate going on around saying that TikTok is wasting our time, flooding us with bad influence and habits. But on the other end, some people think that TikTok is very beneficial when it's used in a correct way. For example, you can learn like life acts, story. Well, it's a diverse platform that has something for everything, from entertainment to education purposes. So it comes down to this question, like, are they popular? trends worth following you know those tiktok is known for virus trends it's usually fun and lighthearted, but sometimes it can be dangerous I mean, you know tiktok trends we talk about tiktok trends i mean lip syncing has been a trend like forever you know the og musicalies would know but if you if you're saying tiktok trends i would say led lights actually i have two sets of my own um, another trend that it's been concerning like the audience um, also, there's this trend called the prison mugshot challenge, a challenge or a trend where uh, creators, they put on makeup to make themselves look like prison, like they're in jail. So um, a lot of a lot of creators had took down their content because of all the backlash they're facing because apparently this trend kind of touches on domestic violence and abuse as well. You know, the corset challenge is also another controversial trend going on on TikTok. This challenge makes the girls believe that they shouldn't have a waist length more than 9 inches. And it also clearly can put some of them into a, like a body shaming kind of depression. Another one is winning pile. I don't know how people find it very, very interesting, but this challenge is so dangerous. Imagine you get anything catch on fire like when you try to do this kind of challenge. It would be a disaster. Yeah. Really dangerous. Mm -hmm. I agree. And another dangerous challenge is the dry scoping challenge. People don't know that this is a dangerous one because dry scoping protein powder can actually strain your heart due to the sudden consumption of unmixed caffeine formula. So have you guys seen the video where a 20-year-old girl was admitted to hospital? Yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah, I think I've seen it. Other than this life risking challenge, we have a problematic trend going around romanticizing criminals with the TikTok sound called I'm in love with a criminal. Like Weird. people should stop sexualizing them and actually focus on their case because their looks have nothing to do with it. This kind of trend should raise concern within the platform, definitely. True, true, I agree. One thing is, I also realize how trends can go really fast on TikTok. You know, I mean, the hashtags kind of help, but it's what the content is more important. So, because trends nowadays are so easily picked up by young people, they just jump on the bandwagon in chances of getting viral. So, true. many people are mostly drawn into mimicking bad influence trend. I mean, there are good and bad influence, but it should be raised concern that the trend with explicit or vulgar lyrics are bad influence on the younger audience especially. Yes, I agree. And also, TikTok influence or encourage people to spend money on unnecessary items. It's like they watch a video of somebody buying some things, making an unboxing video, and it triggers them and they automatically go and buy the same thing without knowing actually do they really need it or not. It's like the question is, 
are they going to use it is it beneficial for them yeah and that leads us to this question is tiktok good or a bad app you know some of the song on tiktok are actually underrated it's usually known for that tiktok song people always say that you know that song with the renegade dance yeah yeah not only that song that i overuse in problematic trends or videos can actually destroy the music true i i agree with that like like some of the singers they don't get appreciated for the music they you know for the music they publish out so um songs like you know uh runaway or uh super lonely those are known because a lot of viral trends are using that that sound and and it's just like not fair to some of the artists people tend to post the wrong information without knowing actually how true is it mm-hmm. i agree as much as all the bad things that we just you know discussed about i believe that tiktok also has it like a good side so tiktok nowadays it's also like a platform for everyone to share their like professional advice on there's this tiktoker her handle is k bacon so her videos are mostly science based and it's like means everything is fact check and it it's really interesting to watch like i i spent like an hour watching her by accident cuz it was like too interesting mm. and not only not only like science stuff there are also therapists so um there's this Malaysian therapist called Amanda uh so her TikTok content is all about you know advice um tips how to seek help when you have no one and technically not only like therapists or you know professionals professors teachers they are all on the app to help um also it is informative as in recommendation people recommend good film songs or books this can actually support those underrated artists or authors this offer a great potential for making new friends too like a connection throughout the world since tiktok mm-hmm. is a interactive app and this will you know bring people mm-hmm. together by sharing their humor and the same interests any anyway, do you all know travel tiktok is mm-hmm. one of the interesting tiktok content yeah mm-hmm. yeah People post their travel stories. They share it to others. The, uh, they show the different cultures and traditions. Like some people, we couldn't go to certain places, but we still would like to know how do the place actually looks. So we can see that at on TikTok. And we can, yes. you know, basically live vicariously through them. It's it's kind of nice, yeah, to have those on TikTok. Uh, not only can TikTok be informative and educational, but TikTok can help bring social awareness. It allow you to be educated on important issues that have been a concern to the society, and also give people a place, a platform to express themselves and speak up. Yes, TikTok also being used to spread uh, awareness about climate uh, changes and environmental destruction. I never know that. But, and TikTok is, you know, honestly like a very good a very good platform for users and they can, you know, kind of show off their creativity, their, you know, their unique talents that they never get to show to the world. Right, like the art skill, drawing, painting, filmmaking, like editing with mm-hmm. cool effects and also acting. Yeah. Where people act in the POV challenge. <laughs> A lot of short skits on TikTok, you know. It's actually really, really good. Yeah. yeah. People also use TikTok as a platform to show their talent, like such as dancing. You know, they like post a new type of videos. Then they ask people to try it out, take them. But like after a whole discussion about the good side and the bad side of TikTok, do you think TikTok can pass the um, white test? For me, I think that TikTok is neither bad nor good. It depends on how a person uses it. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's like I think people should just take the good from TikTok and make it beneficial. Wow! After that whole discussion, I think I'm going to pay more attention to my screen time for my TikTok because it's been going pretty high up lately. 
you can't ignore the fact that TikTok consume a lot of our time. So I guess as a user, mm-hmm. we need to be aware of that and limit our time on that app to stay connect with the real life. And yeah, that's it for our video. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more youth-based content. And comment down below what you think of today's video. And also check out our other social platform in the description below. We will see you guys next time. Bye.